Hi folks, hope you are doing awesome. In last video, we have created GCP account, which will help us to learn follow along all GCP services. In this video, I'll give you a walkthrough of all the services which Google Cloud have got to offer and a console overview because this is a place which you'll be dabbling the most while working on Google Cloud and during this training. To, to start with, the first thing is this GCP project. GCP pro project is basically a logical separation of resources. Resources are the lowest part in GCP world. Project is the second part. When we read about organizations in the next video, I'll take you through that layer. For now, just understand you are within a project. Every project has different resources. Now in here, you will see a link called dashboard. When you click on dashboard, this will take you to a page like this. So this page has all information regarding your this project. So project is a logical separation of uh, resources within the GCP world, as I mentioned earlier. So this project name, project number, this is globally unique. Nobody else can have it. You will need it when you're working with Terraform or any infrastructure as code tool. You can have your resources, you can have your traces, you, you have your help section here. If you want to take help, you can click on any of these things. It will take you to the tutorials. If you have any SQL or compute engine, app engine, you'll be getting the monitoring details over here. One thing very interesting is this cloud platform status. This status basically talks about the health of the Google Cloud globally. So in here, you can find out that which all services are up, down, running, which reason is down. So for example, right now memory store is affected in some of so the reason. Whenever there is a downtime, you're facing a downtime, you must come to this page status.cloud.google.com and check the status of the services. Coming back to the dashboard. So this is the Google News documentation, all the monitoring aspects basically. So there could be a possibility that you don't want anything. So you'll click on customize over here and like you don't want app engine, you don't want uh, error reporting. So you can just disable it and click on done. Once you are done with it, you can see this is gone. API is gone. Your uh, other one is also gone, which we just disabled. So if you want to again, take it back, click on customize. Just bring it on error reporting bring it on and done right that's how you play with your dashboard and uh, you can enable or disable things which you need while working on the google cloud the second important aspect is the activity activity is basically audit logs audit logs whatever is happening within your project you'll get to know by following this activity log you have any type of activity which is done over here you can access it right 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 here you can also choose the uh, resource type to uh, filter your log further like for example you can go and see that watch what this user have done at what time so if any deletion happens anything uh, business critical thing happen this is the place where you will be coming to check your check it out then we have recommendation it basically it's a recommendation API which uh, monitors your uh, uh, your uh, users and then recommend you based on that. Since we have not used anything, we don't have a recommendation. But that's you can also use this uh, recommendation API, which we will of course cover cover later on. That's yeah. all about the dashboard activity and recommendation. The next thing which we'll cover is the menus. So menu is at at times very overwhelming because it it has a lot of options. But let's try to understand the categories first. For that, you need to click on view all products. When you click in here, you will see that the services are categorized very, very beautifully. So these are the category of services which GCP have got to offer. If you are looking for compute, you need to click on compute. If you're looking for storage, you need to click on storage. It also gives you a small brief that what kind of services this particular category has and uh, then you can use it as per your need. The important thing is to notice here is this. So suppose in your project, you need VPC network. You don't want to come to this place every time. So what you'll do is you'll pin it. Click on pin your menu. Once you pin it, you'll see it coming in the list here. 
okay you want to uh, drag it up you can click in here and you can drag it that's how you can drag it to the top and uh, tomorrow if you don't need it you can just go and click on unpin so this is kind of a shortcut which you create for your uh, all the services which you use day to day so that's your full set of services so if you can quickly go through so you have compute where uh, various type of uh, scalable and virtual machines and containers are offered by google you have storage in, in storage in storage you get to store all long term short term vms and file store securely how you can do that then you have analytics has humongous offering because uh, you know gcp is known for database data centric solutions so you can collect store process and analyze large amount of data and these this is like humongous offerings and everyone has a very very uh, detailed use case when you actually use them then you have networking uh, networking has uh, all sort of uh, required thing to run a network within your uh, within your project or outside your project how to communicate with the world or your corporate network everything is uh, done through this networking solution then you have serverless which is basically uh, all about functions and containers and then you have databases databases category in databases you will get all the offerings like sql spanner bigtable memory store which is redis so uh, then, then you have got operations where you it is talk about logging, monitoring, and tracing. So these these things earlier used to be called as stack driver, but now it is branded as operations. Then you have security. Security has uh, amazing offerings like some uh, how to take care of compliance, how to uh, meet your security policy, how can you create an organization policy. These kind of capabilities these uh, this module has. Then you have CI/CD. So you 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 know that CI/CD is uh, you know integrated part of uh, this DevOps and cloud world. You also have cloud native solutions like here is a cloud build. You can uh, you know you can host your Git repositories over here. You can build your CI pipeline using cloud build. You can host your containers uh, like uh, Docker containers over here. You can deploy it using cloud deploy. You can store your artifacts over here. That's about CI/CD. Then you have AI offerings which is uh, again it's, it's humongous in nature and uh, then you have some uh, tools which helps you to perform uh, pretty fast and be productive so that's all about the uh, tool uh, tools and uh, technologies which uh, gcp have got to offer of course don't feel overwhelmed you're not going to use everything because every company has some limitations and they're not going to use everything for now just understand these are approx five to six categories uh, are majorly used and then you have some uh, supporting categories which when we learn we'll uh, we'll get to know so for now this is how you pin it and this is how you uh, move it out so that's about the menu behavior so support so suppose you want to go you want to explore click on a menu you can click on i am an admin and you will see that the page have appeared and the child menu which was coming here it is coming here now so this is the place where you manage all your resources from where you grant permission where you manage your roles and uh, all sort of uh, permissions management is done through i am so it is about identity access management we will have a separate session on this as well so at times as a new person working on the gcp you might find it uh, you know difficult to uh, you know go and uh, get to a location of a particular offering F for that you just you can just come in here and say that okay uh, let me search it so suppose i want to go to my marketplace so just uh, select you just write marketplace and it will take you to marketplace marketplace so marketplace are somewhere where you have predefined and ready-made solutions like this wordpress so you want to deploy wordpress once you click on launch, it will automatically create virtual machines. It will deploy automatically for you. So it's the fastest way to get any service working. So that's the role of the search engine. So, so, so you want to go to any database. Suppose you want to go to SQL. You can just click on write SQL. It will take you all the options of SQL. You can click on SQL and go. It will take you to SQL. You can create instance. So that's all about the menu hovering and how to pin it, how to unpin it. Hope that that's helpful. One very important part is this cloud shell. So you can interact with Google Cloud in uh, 
three ways through APIs, through this console, and the third way is this cloud shell. So it is a small Linux VM created for you, which is for free. And uh, it is a big topic, we will cover it. But for now, understand that this is a, a Linux uh, window from where you can directly communicate to your project and you can uh, create resources, you can delete resources and you can you do anything through it. So that's that's one of the place it's up and running in minutes and you can communicate and create resources. That's the power of uh, Cloud Shell. So we'll be using it on all our labs. So uh, that's all about it. One thing I really wanted to, to uh, highlight is that when you, since we are using trial account, one thing I wanted to highlight is just when you click on billing, it will tell you that how many days you have left or how many dollars you have. Okay. So this is our current status. So we have 90 days remaining and 23,990 rupees of free trial credit. I suggest you do not click on upgrade because if you click on upgrade, your account becomes the uh, you know mainstream account and if anything goes beyond this you will be charged for that money from your credit card which you have used while creating it so do not click on upgrade let's learn try and learn within these 90 days and try to learn all the services right so uh, that's that's all for the day hope you like the walkthrough and um, see you in the next video like and subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much